You go first. Colin, you first. I'm Theo. I'm Dad and that's Tom. And what's your name again? Sam and I'm ten. Four, five, six. I like Roald Dahl because there's like funny books. They're not the same as any other books I've read. Jelly and the Chocolate Factory. What's the scary one? The Witches. Everyone's a classic. They're all good, aren't they? This place is brilliant. It completely brings his the character to life. Kids can dress up and they can play. They pretend we're like Roald Dahl. They have a knowledge quiz. Arts and crafts. You could colour in Mr Twit's beard. Interactive movie making. You can measure our heights and it, and it has random characters from his books. I'm Mrs Twit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was Mr Hoppy. No, you were. One of the things you don't get when you're at school is you're going to sit down and you're going to write a story but nobody gives you a storyboard to bounce that from. They get the chance to go underneath the book and find out where the inspiration for the book came from. You can find out more in a fun way. He usually gets an idea, has a go at it and then like tries and tries again. What else is Rebecca? Oh, the cafe is amazing. Yeah, you get like amazing cakes and really, really yummy like drinks. Hot chocolates. And there was the storytelling, wasn't there? Yeah. It's small, it's compact, it also means that they can have a little bit more freedom with looking around on their own. There's some things inside glass containers, but some of the other things you can actually touch. She'll go off for a couple of minutes and come back and drag us over to go and see something. <laughs> you can go out and enjoy the sunshine for a bit in the middle of the day and come back in and do some of the indoor stuff. If you wander up the road and you follow the trail up to the woods, you're suddenly in the middle of Fantastic Mr. Fox. It's like you're in Roald Dahl's shoes. It helps develop their understanding and their imagination and their ideas. Without a doubt, we go home talking about the books on the way home. They um, have both gone away with lots of story ideas and wanted to write and wanted to read more stories as well. And I'm really excited about learning. The top tip for the museum would probably be choose um, a weekend. We've come on a Saturday afternoon. It's been bustly but not too busy. Have a look what's on because they do all the different activities. They have talks and things. And the hot chocolate's pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs>